This is a quick video to show you how to edit the metadata out of an NFT that you minted through our API. So we'll start out by minting one so that we can then follow up and edit it. So I'm here on our API reference page in the mint and NFT endpoint so we can just call it directly here from the browser. And I set this to be polygon because uh, we can, I want to edit this one here. So I'm going to send it to my email address. Let's go ahead and you can see I've already done a few of these. We'll replay this request. We'll get a new ID right here. All right, so go over to the edit or the uh, status endpoint. All right, we can see that that has already been minted and it's token ID six. So I'm going to come over here and uh, my Crossman account. All right, so you can see the ones I've already messed around with. Here is the new one we just minted. You can tell that it's token ID six. All right, so we'll open that one up. Notice it doesn't have any attributes or anything. And of course the background is transparent. So now we'll come to our edit NFT endpoint. I'm pasting in that GUID that I got from the first page where we minted it so that it returns this ID in the request grabbed that and then I put it here so that we our system knows which one to update and I've all I've really changed here is I changed the image to one that I uploaded on IPFS and I set this up re-upload linked files to false so that it will use this one instead of going to grab the image and uploading it to IPFS for me and finally, I added an attribute, which we'll see in a second. So let's go ahead and call this. All right, so if you get the 204 back, you know that it's good. And it takes a couple of minutes, so I'll come back here in a few. We'll click this uh, refresh button and see the metadata updated. Okay, I've waited about three or four minutes, so now I'm gonna come back and click this refresh button. Boom, and we can see that it changed my image and it added the attribute. So that's all there is to it. Uh, you can also, of course, uh, get code examples of how to do this programmatically by switching through these different options here. So I hope that helps get you started on what you wanna build. Can't wait to see it.